So we have partnered with WIAMSA, the Western Indian Ocean Marine Science Association, and we are helping to coordinate this international project with a bunch of other African countries. So we have six African countries, um, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Tanzania and Seychelles and then South Africa is the seventh country and we are basically trying to establish how much litter we have flowing down rivers and into the ocean and washing up on beaches in the countries in the Western Indian Ocean, so that's Eastern Africa. This is why we're doing this research to look at really what is the extent of the marine litter pollution problem in the country identifying all the sources, looking at the hotspots and also understanding some of the socio-economic factors leading to this problem. Nipa Figure is really excited to be part of the Wyomsa Marine Litter Monitoring Program. It gives us a chance to be able to collaborate with scientists and researchers and to also have that regional collaboration to just understand the extent of the problem and work together to find appropriate solutions for our local context so that the decision makers at higher government levels can actually put sustainable waste management practices to reduce the impact of marine litter. This project brings uh, countries with limited capacity, limited uh, experience in terms of uh, marine litter research together with countries like South Africa that have done enormous work on, uh, on marine litter. So, through this, uh, countries that have never done anything, they, they get the training, the experience to do it. So today we're actually on one of our um, beach sites of our monitoring project. So what we do is every three months we come on this site every day for like 10 days and we collect all the pieces of marine litter we can find. So we want to understand how much of the plastic is coming on the, on the beach. And what we're doing especially today, so we've got all these guests from the different countries and we're making sure that we are collecting the data exactly the same way. So we walk the same pattern at the same pace, we take, we're picking up the same size of pieces. So we should be able to compare not only the sites in each country, but also now in every country and every site. By collecting data in, in exactly the same way in all the different regions, we have comparable information. Uh, and by doing it in a rigorous way, we can be sure that the differences we're picking up are as a result of what's happening in the environment and not just because of the way people are collecting the data. And one of the really crucial things is to be able to say whether the measures that we're taking are actually having a difference. And that's why the kind of program that WIOMS is setting up, looking at establishing monitoring programs to determine how much plastic is flowing into the sea um, is really important. Since this is one of the first regional and possibly the only regional type of program in the world with many nations working together, we're in a position to go forwards sharing data and setting the trends in terms of science and the multidisciplinary approach of linking it to education, the socio-economics, the economics and what people want of the future.